Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got some new books. We've got A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah Moss. And this is number four in the Court of Ro Thorns and Roses series. It's a fantasy world. And um, in this particular one, um, a new character has taken over as queen and is trying to navigate the problems while she realizes that Everyone has far, a lot more scars from the previous war than she anticipated. And um, they're trying to rebuild the night court. The winter solstice, solstice festivities are coming up, but um, things from the past are overshadowing those festivities. So this is it's not a big book like most of them, but it's number four. And um, we also have number five. Number five, A Court of Silver Flames, by Sarah Moss, is um, about Nesta Acheron, who has been forced into the cauldron and the High Fae Society against her will, and she's trying to find a way to navigate the deadly world she finds herself in. She um, sort of has to hook up with um, a warrior, Cassian, and the two of them are trying to join forces to maintain peace in the world, but the several queens have decided to join forces and maybe threaten that peace. So it's about um, the wounds that her, their friends have sustained in the previous war and what you have to do in order to main peace, maintain peace. So we've got those two. Looks like a nice series. We've got The Gunkle Abroad. Um, if anybody remembers The Gunkle, it was about Patrick who had to basically become the caretaker of his niece and nephew in LA. And he didn't really know them very well. Oh, and it's written by Stephen Rowling. And he took care of them. Well, five years have passed and the kids are back in Connecticut with their father. And he has relocated to New York and he's still working on his career in um, motion pictures. He just finished a successful um, TV comedy. So he's doing pretty well, but all of a sudden his brother is gonna get married in Italy. So he decides to take the kids with him and navigate traveling with two surly teenagers and, um, and trying to help them deal with the changes in the family. Um, a new lesbian aunt, um, different groom getting cold feet, all kinds of things. And he was very funny in the first book, The Gunkle. And um, I think that's Gay Uncle. And uh, he, he skirts the line and manages to stay funny without getting stupid. So I don't know, looks like it's gonna be fun. Oh, and this one, Table for Two and More Towels. And he is just such a wonderful, wonderful author. Um, six short stories set in New York and a novella set in LA. The novella takes a character, um, Evelyn, from The Rules of Civility, his novel, and um, just she's on her way home to Indiana on the train and her parents are waiting for her at the station and while she's on the train she decides to extend her trip to LA and just bypasses the Midwest all the way. So she gets to LA and she becomes friend with Olivia de Havilland. So it's the golden age of Hollywood and the characters are great. Everything about this book is good. The stories are good, but even if they weren't, just the way the man writes is a pleasure. And uh, can't say I'm enough about this. This was really a fun book. So enjoy, we'll get some more. Thanks, bye.